Theater, and welcome to the exciting world of hip. Good morning. I'm Andrea Jackson with your wake-up call for Thursday, November 11th, 2010. The cargo bomb found in a printer cartridge on a plane in the UK was timed to explode over the eastern seaboard of the U.S. So says Scotland Yard. The FDA's smoking czar unit wants to put images of corpses and diseased lungs on cigarette packaging. Where? There's no room left. Enough already. Look, I'm not a smoker, but that's ridiculous. The retirement age will likely be raised to 68 by 2050 in an effort to make Social Security benefits from the glorified government's pyramid scheme last a little bit longer. Washington State, along with Michigan and Oklahoma, have banned alcoholic energy drinks. Alcoholic energy drinks. Yes, I'll take an oxymoron on the rocks with a twist. Uh, one in ten kids has ADHD and most are on meds. The hyperactivity disorder knows no racial, social, or economic boundaries. Looking for a way to put some fun into your dysfunctional family holiday get-together? Sears will be open on Thanksgiving. Lou Dobbs, remember him from CNN. He is headed to Fox Business Network with his own show in 2011. And speaking of showbiz, Nancy O'Dell, who was taking over for Mary Hart on Entertainment Tonight, was not the first choice. Laura Spencer from The Insider was in line to take over the E.T. throne. However, she did not meet Mary's approval. Apparently, the two did not get along behind the scenes. Your Orlando weather forecast, mostly sunny in 80, lows in the 60s. That is your Orlando Wake Up Call. I'm Andrea Jackson. I'll ring you in the morning. Be good.